Hi, my friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I put together my sort of chipotle style beef balls. High on protein, low in carb, but full of flavors. Stay tuned. Dinner's going to be delish for today's chili marinade I'm using. Chile de arbol, New Mexican red dried chilies, garlic, one tomatillo, one small tomato, a quarter of a uh, white onion, salt, pepper, and cumin. Okay, let's add everything to the blender. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of pepper. And about half of cumin, one half of a cup of water. Let's blend it all together until it's nice and easy. I add a little bit of the sauce to the bottom of the pot so that I can get the sauce all over my meat. Now we add the meat. This is about two and a half pounds. Now I pour the rest of my chili sauce on top of the beef, making sure I cover all the surface area. Okay, so now all we have to do is cover it and turn it on high. So for our shredded beef balls, I'm gonna need some beans, so I'm gonna boil some with um, garlic a little bit of onion i'm going to use two cups of beans of course you got to clean them first so one cup two cups this is more than i need for one meal but i always like to have a, a little bit of extra beans um, for leftovers Sometimes I plan ahead and I wash and soak my beans overnight so that in the morning we just have to throw them in the crock pot and let them cook for the day. However, today is a last minute idea of what I want to make for dinner. So for today, uh, I'm doing a quick soak. So this is what I'm doing when my water boils. And then um, you'll see that this water will still be a little bit uh, yellowish, dirty. So I always like to do it for not only to soften the beans, but also to, to wash um, them a little bit longer because I feel like the dirt is probably stuck in the beans. So anyway, so we'll wash them super good like 10 minutes let's do a little bit of dirty water so i'm going to rinse them really they're good. not super soaked but they're clean boiling water is ready i also you always normally make this um into the boiling water i normally make this on a crock pot and just let them cook all day but today i'm running late so i have to make them quick as you can see, this is my beans pot, so you'll see that. The pot is pretty steamy. Into the pot they go. One tablespoon of salt. And a little wedge of onion. And one garlic. Cover it. Okay, so this came up to a boil now, and I'm gonna lower it to the lowest setting for, I don't know, like 45 minutes. We'll see how long it takes. So it's been two hours. I think um, we need a few hours more. If you could only smell this. Let's check on our beans. Ooh, they're coming along. I want them to cook a little bit faster because I have to leave, so I'm gonna put it up to like 3.5 so medium low so about two hours on medium low and like half an hour on low I think I overcooked them I was getting ready but I think they're perfect I always need iron 
I'm always low on iron and this, it's what I do when I cook beans. I normally don't use the juice for anything after I use my beans, so this is a good way to get some iron, but I only drink it. When the beans are freshly made, that's when the broth is at its best. Add a little bit of lemon and it's ready to drink. You don't need to keep doing this, by the way. I'm just doing it because I'm here. and <laughs> I love the smell, so I'm doing it. But normally, I just sit it and forget it. Okay, so let's get our cauliflower rice ready. I've already started on our pico de gallo. Mahavi is helping me chop up the green chiles. <laughs> I love using cauliflower rice. I buy a prepackaged just so that I can make things quicker and easier. But it's such a good source of protein and yumminess that I use it and it's so versatile. So I pre-washed it. I added some olive oil. Now I'm adding salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. Almost forgot, I'm also adding a little bit of paprika pepper. Oops. Let's add a little butter because why not? Cauliflower rice doesn't take much, as you can see, some of it's already cooked. So I'm just going to melt everything together. And now, just let it dry. Um, I would normally put some cilantro, but I ran out of, so I'm just going to let it be. But it does have some dried chives that I added when I first added all the other seasonings. So five and a half hours on high, this is ready to go. If you do it on low, it takes about eight hours. Oh my goodness, it smells so yum. It's sort of like birria, but it's not birria. Because it has different flavors. Birria has um, oregano and other spices that this one doesn't. But I like to change it around so I have different flavors in my food. So now let's just shred it. Here's the shredded beef. The pico de gallo with aguacate. The rice. So now you just assemble your meal as you wish. A little bit of the cauliflower rice. A spoonful or two of those yummy beans. Oh my gosh, the pico de gallo looks delish. And now some of my shredded beef. some of the juice on top of the beef just to give it added flavor. Some cottage cheese or you can use Mexican crema. Sour cream. Whatever you choose. A little bit of salt and pepper. There you go.
There you have it, my friends. Please comment below if you try this recipe. And also, don't forget to share with someone you might know that likes to cook high protein, low carb, but not skimping any of the delicious uh, flavors. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. See you next video.